Hi guys, thanks so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. Today I have one of my subscription addictions and today I have my October Ipsy Glam Bag. And this is what the bag looks like. Great for October since it is Halloween at the end of this month. And so you have like all these little like, you know, ghouls and gals, witches and magic potions on the bag. So it's super, super cute. But let's get right into the bag. So first things first, you have like the little insert that they put into all of the glam bags and it says Ipsy Black Magic. And so on the back it says, hey boo, you know, boo as in ghost. And so we've got some tricks and treats up our sleeve. Three ways to get in on the magic at ipsy.com slash glam back. So then it, um, it's, if you guys don't know, Ipsy kind of relaunched their website. So instead of it just being, you know, you reviewing your products and then, you know, um, seeing how well they match you for, for your beauty profile. They kind of give you like tips and tricks and how to's on how to use a lot of the beauty products that you now have in your glam bags, which I think is really, really dope. Cause sometimes you get stuff and you're like, well, what am I supposed to do with this? So now they give you like tips, tricks, and how to's um, on the different um, products in your bag. So first it says, check out the full story behind Black Magic and our awesome collab with it girl artist, Valfrey. Two, mix up magical potions and master your supernatural looks with how-to videos and tips for all of your products. And three, don't ghost us. Review your glam bag goodies so we can give you more of what you love. So basically everything I just said is right on the back here. So let's pull out the first thing out of my bag. And it is the Sally's Box Aqua Moist Gel Cream. This is what it looks like. I did get a chance to try this cream and I didn't really like it. So um, I used it in the morning, haven't tried it at night, but I wanted to test it out in the morning since that's when I do most of my grunt work you know because I'm on my feet all day at work because I'm a merchandiser so this worked really really good a little goes a long way and it's very hydrated and moisturizing but it didn't leave me oily which I did really appreciate since I have combination scents so this was definitely a hit next you have the Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper and I do have it on. You guys know Kat Von D's tattoo liner is probably by far my favorite eyeliner to use. And I couldn't have gotten this at a better time. I got one from, I want to say Sephora for last month. And now I got one from Ipsy. So kudos to you guys because I love, love, love this liner. It is amazing. If you guys haven't tried it, please try it because Kat Von D hit the nail on the head with this eyeliner. Next you have up the Trust From Beauty Gimme Good Face face primer. So this is what it looks like. I have used the face primer um, at least twice so far and I love it. I feel like my makeup kind of, it glides on very smoothly. Um, the application is phenomenal with this primer and it kind of just seals everything in. So let me read for you what it says on the side. So it says, think of it as a selfie filter for your face. Just like you, it lets no flaw show. This primer will smooth out any imperfections you leave to leave you looking your best. And that's exactly what it does. So any imperfections that I have on my face, I'll get really close so you guys can see. It kind of smooths everything out. So this is like a great way to um, get the canvas of your makeup to set and to really, really stand out. So that way you don't have to do too much, you know, blending. Like this makes my makeup application blend seamlessly. So I did really, really like this primer. Next up in the bag, we have this makeup brush. And this is from Lottie London. And this is what the makeup brush looks like. I have used it, so don't let the plastic fool you. Um, it's just a flat kind of tapered brush. I mean, nothing really to write home about. Um, it's a good brush, and I'll probably use it in some of my um, eye tutorial, eye makeup tutorials coming up. I do have some eye makeup tutorials coming up, so please bear with me. Um, but they are coming, so just hold on, guys. I got you covered. And last but not least in the bag, you have the Trusty mini matte lip crayon in belize bordeaux and i do have this shade on and this is what it looks like so this shade is really similar to the shade i got in my birch box which is fine like if you ipsy and birch box you guys want to tag team by all means i'm all for it but the shade is very very pretty as you can see it's very pigmented and it looks really really great on my skin complexion so i did really really love this color especially for fall i um, definitely can't wait to try to um do like an ombre lip with this color but um that's all i got in my ipsy glam bag um let me know what you guys received in your bags if you signed up with ipsy or subscribe to get the glam bag 
And also, let me know what you guys thought of all of the products that I did get in this bag. Like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Chloe Lear. Thanks so much for tuning in.